Now, welcome to today's class. Today, I want to uh, take you through probability and statistic two, and uh, specifically, I want to specialize on probability density function as well as cumulative uh, density function. Uh, now, I have a question here. So, the question I have is a uh, uh, as a Roman 1 as well as Roman 2, the probably will enable you to understand something concerning a PDF as well as CDF. Now, the question I have today is uh, that I consider the PDF function uh, that is fx uh, in bracket, we have 1 over, one over 80 for a range of uh, x being greater than 0, greater or equal to 0, less or equal to 60. Then we have 100 minus x over 3200 for a range of uh, x is greater or equal to uh, 60 less or equal to 100 and 0 or elsewhere. Now the Roman 1 part of the equation I have that I find the corresponding uh, CDF. Yes, so you have been provided with uh, the function of a uh, PDF. Then you are being told to derive the corresponding uh, CDF. Remember, CDF is just cumulative density function. Yes, so you the question you need to ask yourself is how you can derive a CDF from a PDF. That is it. And actually, uh, I want to assure you that for you to come up with a CDF from a PDF, what you need to be doing is uh, to integrate the provided PDF so that uh, you get to uh, derive the cdf which they want so under the solution here let me write the solution here so that we can see what we've talked about there so under the solution here i've said that from for us to derive the cdf then we must ensure that we shall uh, integrate the provided function of a pdf that is it and therefore we shall just be concerned of the integrals of water in the bracket Yes, so uh, before that, you realize that uh, we have x here, and therefore, it is regarded that uh, you ensure that you use another letter. For instance, you can use a u to represent x, so that you avoid confusion by the time we shall be integrating. That is it. So, uh, my first step should be that I let, that is it, let x... Uh, B U, very very important because uh, this one will enable me to uh, be using no using uh, the cor the correct that is a uh, approaches concerning uh, the integration part. Yes, so because of the moment I'll be using X, you realize that uh, there is a point of which we shall reach whereby by the time I, I, I'm supposed to inter, uh, substitute sorry in, uh, substitute the upper and lower limit concerning the integrals I've, I've come up, up with you will realize that it will bring a confusion to avoid that I'll just say that let x be u and therefore uh, I'll be integrating in terms of du that is it so I'll come here now and begin uh, with 1 over 80 remember I need to integrate 1 over 80 and therefore th I need to be putting the integral sign then I write 1 over 80 here then you need to identify the range remember here I have a range of uh, 0 up to 60 therefore 60 shall be my upper limit while 0 shall be my lower limit. And I've told you that because we will x be to be u, that one means that I'll be integrating in terms of du there. Then you need to be adding uh, by the integration of the second part here, because the second part is 100 minus x over 3200. So I'll need to just to come here and write the integral sign. Then I write the content within it that is 100 minus x as well as over 3200 there then uh, i identify the range now when you come to the second part here you need not to uh, be using 60 and 100 here what you need to be doing is that you are supposed to uh, uh, analyze that uh, if x is greater or equal to 60 that one means that your upper limit shall be x but your lower limit here shall be 60 that's what this one mean here and therefore i need to be integrating in terms of du there 
my dear after reaching there your work is very simple you just need to integrate now now you need to ask yourself that how can i integrate there is a 1 over 80 in terms of du that one means that i need just to add u there because uh, it should be 1 over 80 u and u by 1 is just u so i'll just come here and say it is just u over 80 then you ensure that you are right the range the range is 60 up to zero there then after that you need to integrate the second part but before i integrate the second part you can't integrate the constant remember that 200 is a constant and therefore it is regarded to bring it uh, at the beginning here so that it will be 1 over 3200 1 over 3200 then now you get to integrate the remainder there so let me write the remainder to avoid confusion so it is just 100 minus x in terms of du and the range was from x to that is 60 there so my next step is just to integrate this remember i'm done with this or in terms of integration but i'm not done with the second part of the integration therefore i'll now come here to begin my integration now let me see uh this one just mean it is just u over 80 then i just write the range that is 60 as well as zero there let me write uh, write the 60 very well then i add 1 over 3200 remember you can't integrate that constant there then now i begin integrating here so when you integrate uh, 100 minus x in terms of du mean that uh, i need not to be using x within so i'll be using u in terms of x so let me go so uh, 100 when you integrate it will be that is a uh, uh, 100 u remember i'm integrating in terms of u there then minus now x when you integrate meaning you add one here be, remember the power is one so when i add one uh, to x it will be two then you divide by the total value of, on the power that is i shall be dividing by two and remember we were integrating in terms of du and therefore instead of me using x here i'll now be using that is a u so it will be u that is squared over 2 then i write my limits remember the upper limit here was uh, that is x the lower limit is 60 there now after that uh, my work is very simple now is just to uh, substitute my u with the 60 in for the first case and for the second case i subtract my u to be zero and my u to if uh, in case i substitute u with zero probably it will be zero but 80 which is just zero so here i'll just be concerned with the 60 when i substitute it uh, that is a uh, where u is i just substitute with 60 and probably when you bring 60 uh, here it will be that is 60 over 80 then i add now when you come here let me begin by substituting with the x so it will be 1 over 3200 that is 3200 then in bracket now when i begin with the x that one mean i'll just substitute where x is where u is i just replace it with the x so it will be 100 x now remember because i have substituted with u for the first any x with for the first case minus now u squared is just x squared because i'm dealing with the x then over 2 there for that is for the first case now the second case it is regarded to put the second bracket there i subtract now now uh, let me substitute u with the 60 so when i substitute u with the 60 here it will be 60 times 100 which is 6000 so i'll write here 6000 minus when i substitute u with the 60 here meaning it will be 60 squared which is 3200 and 3200 when i divide by 2 probably it is 1800 so that's what i write here 1800 then i close my bracket that way after that i just solve the bracket because i need to ensure that i solve that bracket to come up with a, a non-bracket one so uh, this one i can s as, as well simplify this by so dividing the, that is our two goes here three two goes here four so when i do such i'll be remaining with three over four there then plus now let me come to the br first bracket here now for the first bracket i need to retain this 3200 then i just put a bigger bracket there then i just solve the bracket the first bracket is just uh, 100 minus x squared over 2 so that's what i write here so it will be 100 x minus x squared over 2 
minus now when i come to the second bracket it is this one is six thousand remember so uh, it is now six thousand minus eighteen hundred and probably that is forty two hundred so that's what i write here so that is forty two hundred now after reaching there i now come and solve this bracket remember i don't want to remain with any bracket so i'll now begin solving that bracket by retaining this as 33 over 4 plus now now uh, 1 over 3200 times 100x probably the two zeros will cancel and i'll remain with x over 32 i think you are seeing so that is just x over 32 there then minus now when i take 1 over 3200 times uh, that is x squared over 2 the 2 will uh, multiply 3200 to come up with 6400 and therefore i'll come up with x squared over 6400 there then for the last case here i'll be having 4200 divided by 3200 and when i divide that you will arrive at 21 over 16 there now after reaching here you can see we have two constants it is regarded to solve the two constant because 3 over 4 minus 21 over 16 probably is 9 over 16 so instead of me having the two i'll just be having one of them so i'll come here now and say that uh, when i uh, solve 3 over 4 minus 21 over 16 that one means that i'll be remaining with x over 32 minus x squared over 6400 which is this one here but i've said that when you take 3 over 4 minus 20 uh, minus 21 over 16 you will be coming up with a minus that is 9 out of 16. now after reaching there you shall have not done with what you wanted what the question requires you to get remember the question was uh, find the corresponding uh, cdf now to conclude you are just supposed to come here now and say remember that for me to come up with a cdf is a capital f very very important remember here a pdf was a small f now when you come here uh, a cdf now is a capital f that's the identity so major cases you will not be told that is a it is a cdf or a pdf but regardless on the on a, which kind of f have they used that one shall be the identity so here after reaching here now i'll now write the cdf function by so putting the bigger bracket there then i now begin here so uh, cdf generally begin from a zero up to one so i'll just come here and write zero there now under what circumstances do we get zero we get zero when x is uh, probably a uh, less than zero yes so in any case my x range is less than zero automatically you shall be getting uh, that is a uh, you shall be getting uh, that is a, a a zero as the probability now under after that i'll now come here now and remember i'm now beginning from here remember it was one over 80 under that is a, a pdf now to come up with a cdf i've told you that you just need to integrate this so when i integrate this remember it shall be uh, x over 80 in terms of dx so that's what i write here now i'll come here and say it is x over that is 80 now what was the range the range here was zero uh, up to 60 so i'll just come here and say that it is zero just write the same same range that you were provided with there so i'll come here now and say for the uh, it was a uh, x and less or equal to 60 there now after that now you come to the last part remember uh, it was 100 minus x over 3200 and remember this one was a pdf function uh, to get a cdf from it we've integrated here and come up with x over 32 minus x squared over 6400 minus 9 out of 16 so here this is what now you write uh, as per the provided range there so i'll come here and write the same same result i've gotten here now where i've reached here so i've gotten x over 32 uh, minus x squared over 6400 minus 9 out of 16 and remember the range is just 60 up to 100 and uh, the sign is less or equal to so i'll just come here and say the range 
uh, ranges from 16 uh, x as well as x is less or equal to 100 now after this remember i told you that the ranges it the probability max maximum probability is one the minimum is zero so uh since i began with zero here i need to in conclude by writing the maximum probability which is one so how under what circumstances do we get one why we only get one when x is greater than 100 that is the only probability that we shall be getting one under cdf we get one when the values of x ranges are uh, in a manner that it is greater than 100 and therefore after reaching here you will have gotten uh, that is the cdf function and you shall have derived up to your answer now uh, that is the first part of it now let, i want us to look at the second bit of the equation so that at least we can see how we can solve the second part of the equation now consider this now now using the cdf find the probability that x is greater or equal to 50 and x is less or equal to 60. now how can i work out that that the nbs we've been told that using the cdf remember here we've gotten our cdf and our cdf that we've gotten here is a uh, the function that i have written in bracket here now when you've been told that uh, the p probability uh, ranges uh, the, in a manner that x is uh, greater or equal to 50 less or equal to 60 that one means that i'll just identify where the range falls and as you can see 50 and 60 just fall here between 0 as well as uh, 60 but uh, as per here now I shall now be using 60 as the upper limit by while the 50 as the lower limit because you need not to be using the zero so I'll use 60 as the upper limit and 50 as the lower limit that is it but uh, that one is uh, enabling us to identify which integration do we use and it is x over 80 that is it in case you you might be told in the second part that the probability might be ranging from even 70 to 80 then you shall just come here yes you shall now come here now let us go uh, we've realized that our range uh, begins from uh, uh, 50 to 60 and that one means that uh, i shall be using x over 80 as my integration so that's what i write now so i'll come here now and say now that uh, i will realize that I have x over 80 where that is a 50 and 60 falls then you need to be writing the upper limit which is 60 as well as the lower limit which is 50 there now after writing those two your work is now very simple what you do now is now to substitute for the first case you substitute with the 60 and for the second case you substitute with it 50 and you shall just have gone so let us begin by the substituting with the 60 as the upper limit so when i substitute uh, x with the 60 that one means i'll be having 60 over 80 this one is 80 there uh, minus for the second case i substitute with the 50 so it will be 50 over 80 and friends when you work out this 60 over 80 minus 50 over 80 you will come up with one over 8 as the your answer there so friends just use the same same approach so that you can be guided on the correct solution on uh, the provided problem otherwise i think you've identified uh, those key areas that i've stressed on number one i will majorly stress on how you can come up with a cdf from a uh, uh, a pdf in case you've been uh, given a function of a pdf now how can you come up with a cdf in that case and i've also stressed that uh, how can you now come up with a, a pdf in case you've been provided with a cdf otherwise uh, uh, just uh, go through uh, the whole process that we identified and looked at then uh, i think you shall really enjoy and don't forget to share to your friends so that as well they can benefit uh, otherwise subscribe to receive the daily notifications see you next time